More than 20 payloads sponsored by the International Space Station U.S. National Laboratory are planned for launch on Northrop Grumman's 14th Cargo Resupply Services mission to the orbiting laboratory. This launch will send a variety of research and technology development investigations that will further enable a market in low Earth orbit while also driving scientific knowledge that brings value to our nation. Here are some of the featured payloads ready to take flight on this mission. Not only is Northrop Grumman the launch service provider for this mission, but they're also sending a payload of its own as a technology prototype demonstration. SharkSat is a small payload that will mount to the Cygnus spacecraft with a mission to collect telemetry data demonstrating the feasibility of new sensors and processing new technologies in low Earth orbit. Maiden Space will be launching a ceramic manufacturing facility that will leverage microgravity to produce turbine components with improved performance for use in the aerospace industry. This is the latest step by the company to expand its in-space manufacturing capabilities for consumers on Earth. Felix and Paul Studios will be launching a 360-degree camera designed to accompany astronauts outside of the space station for the first time ever to film a spacewalk in cinematic virtual reality. This will be part of an upcoming virtual reality series intended to engage and educate the general public on living and working aboard our orbiting laboratory. Multiple life science investigations on this mission aim to use the space-based environment to develop more effective therapeutics and improve patient care on Earth. One of these investigations from GlaxoSmithKline, a worldwide leader in drug development, will evaluate how microgravity affects two liquid solutions commonly used in the development of therapeutics. Results could help the company create safer and longer lasting products for patients on Earth. Another investigation from innovative startup Kernel Biologics will test candidate messenger RNA molecules in the absence of gravity to identify which molecules are best able to aid in the identification of cancerous human cells among healthy ones. These results may help in the development of new medications to treat leukemia. The National Science Foundation continues to provide millions of dollars in support of research on the space station to advance fundamental knowledge in both the physical and life sciences. One of these projects will observe spherical flames in space to increase understanding of the physics of cool diffusion flames, which burn at temperatures below 400 degrees Celsius. Results could have implications on combustion engine efficiency and help reduce emissions on Earth. The second project will study the motion of liquid drops on the ISS to better understand inertial spreading, which could have applications in medicine, agriculture, and other industrial processes. These payloads represent only a tiny snapshot on the full breadth of research flying on this mission. To get a deeper dive into all the science sponsored by the National Lab launching on Northrop Grumman CRS-14, please visit our mission overview page at issnationallab.org.